Hello guys, welcome back and in today's video we're going to talk about Utu finally, right? It's about to come in uh, less than a week at this point and we're going to get our first Utu in 1.1 and it's going to look like this. Now this is the theme of 1.4, so the theme, the, the, the the aesthetics of the stage of the event and whatever it's in the achievement and in the shop is going to change on 1.1 obviously right but we're going to get our, we're going to gonna we're going to get our ut 2 every uh, major update so one ut 2 in 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 etc right so once we get the gist of it uh this is going to be extremely fun to and something to look forward to when the new uh patch is coming right now Utu introduces a uh, very cool and interesting and kind of complicated but also fun to understand uh, system, which is the card system, the celebrity system, the fa uh, fabled flashing cele celebrity, I think it's called flashing, flashing celebrity. And there's going to be a lot of fun to unveil. And in today's video, I'm going to uh, give you as much information as possible so you, you can start Utu in the best way possible, right? First of all, let's analyze what we have in front of us. What This is the main hub. In this main hub, we have on the center, we have the main stage. On the left, we have the shop. Then, of course, it's going to be different on the 1.1. This is 1.4 shop. If you want to know how many, like, what's inside the 1.1 shop, go check my other video that is called, like, every reward in 1.1 patch i go over u2 as well so if you want to check what's inside you can go there but i'm assuming the the core is going to be the same like they're always going to give us a casket and they're also going to always going to give us uh, nails and some uh, uh wilderness materials and, and a new free skin right now going back the achievements are going to give you player player icon profile and special cards that you cannot get otherwise for example these verting cards we're going to check what they do in just a second and more currency so you do this there's also going to be a special set of achievements we're going to go over them in just a second now uh, on the right we have the fame card collection which is the the full catalog the light one, the, the lit up one are the ones that you have, and the grayed out one are the, one, are the ones that you didn't get yet, right? Now, how to get new cards? Uh, to get new cards, you get to, to this stage. It's called Utu Special Issue, I think it's called. And this is ongoing, right? Every day, you're going to get, you see, out of 10, you're going to get five tickets every day. So be careful. Do not let them overcap over uh, other over 10 otherwise you're gonna waste them what do they do by clicking on it you're gonna spawn an encounter you're gonna spawn an encounter and then it's basically random right now this encounter it, it could be two or three or even one it's uh it's random what card is giving you but you can kind of force to get better loot and better cards by progressing through the main stage let's go back to the main stage now in this main menu we have on the top right uh, a special like tracking that basically says how many players made it to level 12, how many players made it to level 20, how many made it to level 30, and which these are the cards that were used the most by people that made it to 20, right? So, uh, if you have like a general idea on what the other players are using, you can check here. We're probably going to have it as well, right? Now, after you clear the, st the stages in the main, in the main, uh, story let's say there's uh, they go from 1 to 30 you will unlock a special utu like the super end game utu that has its own achievement it's gonna be only it's gonna be only five stages it's gonna be extremely hard and you're gonna probably you're probably gonna want to have a lot of cards ready so before you attempt this uh try to get as many cards as you want so as you can so do not sleep on this because they're like Losing tickets here is a major mistake because you're going to miss out on cards. And considering how Utu stays here for a long time, I'm assuming, I think it's like around like two weeks minimum of Utu. So every day you're going to miss out on like 70 tickets or something like that. So if you don't, if you never go here, so be careful about that. Try to get uh, every day's worth, do at least five stages a day. Now, this is the main main hub by going into the stages you're going to start on level one and you're not going to have any cards right so level one is going to be just normal combat and after you clear it it's going to give you some currency to buy stuff in the shop with and your first card the cards 
are of different tiers. You start by getting the light blue cards, which are these one. Look, they look like this. And by progressing through the story and unlocking new stages, you will get new and better tiers, which are light blue, blue, gold, and and um, and fate, fame, fame cards. Now, the fame cards are the maximum uh, tier, and by getting those, those are kind of rare to get, especially the the ones that you want. So you wanna, you kind of wanna fish for the selector. We're gonna get, we're gonna talk about that in just a second. By continuing the story, there are going to be some checkpoints that will increase the global difficulty, the global uh, higher tier of rewards, right? You see here, this, uh, this five, five cubes, five out of six, six is going to be the maximum amount of um, upgrades by just progressing through, you're going to get them uh, unlocked more and more. And those, what they do, they, they apply to the Utu special issue. When you go and generate X amount of stages, you have a chance, as you can see here, you have a chance of spawning among one of these randomly. You have an 11, in my case, 11% 11 chance, 11 chance of spawning a fate, fame card selector. The selector is a card that is of that frame, that rarity, but it's whatever you want. So let's say I clear this. This will give me, this will give me, a, a, has a chance of giving me a card Actually, this is uh, this is not a chance. This is actually will give me a card if I do what it says. Uh, gives it, gives me a card if I click it. I can choose whatever card I want from the catalog. That ha that is the same tier as the selector I got. So if I get a fame selector, I can choose whatever fame card I want. If I get a gold selector, I can choose whatever gold card I want, etc. It works like that. Now, when uh, when you see it, let's say you got it right, and you wanna get to go to the stage. Now, there are other cards that might drop. As you can see here, this tiny Chinese uh, text says it's a possible drop. So you might not get them. If, this, if it looks like this, it's guaranteed. And it's a special one. So when you get it, be sure to uh, complete that stage. Because you see now that I have three. If I were to click this one on the, on the right, the other two disappear. You can't do them all. You need to, re you need to use another ticket to spawn another batch. So read carefully carefully what the drops are what the the conditions are because if you satisfy the condition it gives you more loot uh, i think it might be even double loot double drops uh, there's still like a, a chance of getting one of the three cards one or more of the three those three cards that they show uh, but the increase the, there's increased loot if you do what it tells you to do so be careful which one you do because the other disappear now this is where you major this major source of cards to get new cards right now but from the main uh, from the main scenario by completing and going through from level one to a maximum of 30 it gets harder and harder at the moment i'm stuck at 13 by clicking on it at certain threshold you will of the chapter chapter six i believe chapter 9 and chapter 12, you will unlock new things. At chapter 6, you start unlocking the uh, better cards. It gives, it starts, uh, I think, I believe it gives you four gold cards and it starts like unlocking uh, the catalog a little more. And we unlock the verting cards. The verting cards are, I believe they're called flashing celebrity cards, but they might be renamed for global. So let's not focus too much on how they're called because they're probably going to change it in global, let's be honest. So those are the uh, super special cards that are only obtainable through these trial stages that you gradually unlock by doing the main, the main stages. And also come from the achievements. So by doing the achievements, they also get you also get two more cards and these cards apply uh they're always applied during the entirety of the combat and they uh, they heavily change modify the curse of action for example this uh, I, I don't know if it's this card i think it's, i think it is this card makes it so you cannot use the ultimate like you build moxie but once you get to five you don't get the card you the ultimate card uh but has a little bit of downside, but by paying that price, you also get a ton of buffs every turn. For example, strength buff and uh, damage buff and damage mitigation buff stacks like infinite stacks of it every turn plus three percent plus three percent plus three percent this one there's another one i don't remember which one it is between these two there's another one that basically adds a 
background counter of how many how AP you're doing. And by every five AP that you do, it gives you a special card, a jolly card that uh, doesn't consume any AP. It's like an extra one. And when you use it, you basically apply Genesis damage to do Genesis damage AOE to your monster, to like the enemy monsters, right? So there's a lot of uh, big... Uh, incentives not everything not every uh, vertin card has a downside but the one that do come with like big upsides as well B uh, good size i don't know how to call it in english i think it's upsides right so and on stage nine you unlock two card slots and it's going to look like this when you start the game you're not going to have it but once you do stage nine you're going to get as you can see two slots each character and you can get you cannot use the same tier of the same uh, copy of the same card of the same tier. But if you have the same card of different tiers, for example, you see this uh, Centurion card, you can do this. Uh, let me do it, please. It's gonna look like this. And the only thing that you can do is to do use the same the the same type of card. Like even if it's different tiers, you cannot use the same card. Let's say this one, the Centurion one. It doesn't let me put it in the in the second in the other socket but you can use two cards of two different tiers whatever you want as long as they're different per character now these cards are gonna are gonna give you uh, a plethora of different buffs different synergies different like power-ups that are actually pretty strong sometimes for example this card which is a very low uh, this card with a very low rarity this one makes you start with two moxie it only applies on medicine pocket because it's the one using it but this one it makes you start with two moxie and this one makes you start with the rightmost card plus one level right and the higher version of the same card is going to give you a better bonus for example this blue card is going to give you uh what is it yeah there you go this one is going to give you plus two on every card when you start every card that you have on on your hand uh, that are from medicine pocket are going to get plus two so they're going to instantly go to level 3. So you can do a lot of really, really interesting th things. Now, this is the progression. You start at level 1, you get more cards, more cards, you get the trial stage. Uh, stage uh, 6, you unlock more cards. Stage 9, you unlock the 2 slots. Stage 12, you unlock even more cards and also the Vertin special cards. And while uh, after you get to level 20, you unlock the... Uh, end game the super end game the a special stage with six or five i believe it's five you can check the achievements here you can uh, it's five you do f the the five stages and you will be able to you 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 won't get the the tokens from the shop you get materials and other stuff but uh the the, the tokens for the shop only come from this and from the achievement. From the achievement, you can also get special items such as uh, profile icons and special verting cards and more fame selector cards, right? And this one, uh, you can click it and you can select wh whichever card you want of the fame quality, which is the highest one. If we go to the fame card collector, this is the catalog, but there's also another function that someone might not notice. I will tell you now. As you can see here, you can get, you can end up getting multiple, multiple copies of the same cards. By using the copies, by clicking merge here, you can fuse copies of the cards that you might, that you don't want anymore. Let's say, okay, this is a copy. I want to get rid of this one, and then I want to get rid of uh, this one and this one. It needs to be of the same tier. So you kind of don't want to do that if you only have a few amount of. Uh, whatever tier you're trying to merge so let's say you have a lot of gold you can do these merge them and it's going to make an extra a new card that might be of a higher tier not necessarily there's a chance that it might be a higher tier but it's guaranteed to be at least the same tier that you sacrifice right so if you end up having a lot of uh, copies and you cannot manage to get that one card that you really need for your characters then you might want to try the merge uh, the merge system to get the cards that, you, that you're missing, right? Or maybe at least try to get the cards that you're missing. So, uh, even if you don't have the card, you can still check what they do, right? So you can prepare before you farm, you can prepare by checking what what, the, what, are, the, what are these cards doing? Do I need them? Which card do I want to go for? Because I'm pretty sure uh, you're not going to be able to get every card 
unless you're lucky, like every card, like 100%, you're gonna get like majority of the cards, but maybe there are some cards that you like the most, so do not waste the selector, the fame, the fame or the gold or whatever, the selectors, before you are sure that you're not gonna get it, or uh, let's say you kind of running out of time or you really wanna rush something, in that case, that's fine, but keep in mind that you might get it from the, from the special issue, right? Now, you cannot force it, you cannot pay to get more tickets. So you're going to have to wait if you don't get it within the, fi the five one. It's going to take a long time getting new cards. So in that case, if you're trying to get a specific build going on, then maybe getting using one of these selectors might come in clutch. But keep in mind that there's, all, there's only a limited amount of uh, selectors. And these are extremely powerful, so don't waste them for like a stupid like low tier card that you might get like tomorrow, right? So that's like one of uh, my uh, uh, my suggestion. Now moving on, let's uh, let's talk about the cards. The cards, uh, not here. The cards are extremely powerful, especially the higher tiers. They give you a lot of uh, new ways of playing the game. They're extremely powerful, and there are some. They give you an actual mechanic going on. For example, there is a there is a card that I was using on uh, on Black Dwarf. That basically every turn you get a stack of two percent damage, two percent damage every AP, not every turn, every AP you get a stack of uh, two percent damage and it stacks infinitely. Now, what does that mean? It means that if you think about it, you don't want to merge cards too much. You want to just rush and get as many SP as you can. AP as you can, so that way you rush the, the modifier, if, if it's a long run, and sometimes it is a long a long battle of like 11, 12, maybe if you're cracked and you're, you're, uh, you're a whale or something, your character just blasting, maybe you don't need to do it, but the, the thing that I'm, I was trying to tell, I'm trying to tell you is, think about the potential of these cards, there's a lot of cards that change the way you approach combat. For example, usually you want to merge cards to get more moxie, but if you have a card that makes it so the more AP you do with that character, the more damage you will deal on the long run, then maybe you don't want to merge the cards. Maybe you just want to use this, you want to do three level one AoEs instead of merging two together, right? So this is the part of the fun and why I think the U2 is going to be extremely fun to play. Uh, on the long run, it's gonna be something we're gonna we're gonna wait uh, and, and be hyped about every every patch. It's gonna be let's go, Uto's coming back, let's go. So the cards, check what they do. I don't know what every card does. I'm sorry, but everything is in Chinese. I'm gonna have to like translate everything. It's gonna take an extreme large amount, extremely large amount of time. But I I translated a little bit of them, and they. I can already tell how what's what's the what's the vibe, right? So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I don't think there is anything else that I can add. If you do have something else to add, please add it in the comment. If it's something that it's really interesting that I forgot or maybe I didn't notice, uh, I will pin it. So if you know something, or maybe if you know about any any anything about this stage, I couldn't reach it myself. I would, otherwise, I would have showed you. Uh, I watched online. I think I saw a screenshot of someone playing it, and it didn't give you uh, any U2 currency. It was like dust. And it was Sharpodonti and a side tube um, level uh, material. So. I think doesn't give you, but like, you know, you know what I mean? If you have anything else to say, please let me know in the comments. If there is anything else you want to add, if you like the video, leave a like. If you want to subscribe for more, please do that. It helps the channel a lot. And uh, I think that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.